this basically means that both the eyes are not aligned the same way and the impulses which are sent from each eyes are not the same the brain gets more time in the early stages of development to assess and align the eyes in its binocular status hi everyone i am dr shrikant consultant pediatric ophthalmologist working at apollo spectra alvar pet chennai in this video we will be discussing about squint or strabismus squint or strabismus or cross eye mean the same thing this basically means that both the eyes are not aligned the same way and the impulses which are sent from each eyes are not the same this is what we mean by a squint so squint could be either a horizontal squint which means the eye could be either turned inwards or outwards it could be a vertical squint where one of the two eyes is either up or down and it could also be a torsional or a rotational squint where one eye is rotated slightly as compared to the other eye which gives gives you a tilted image so these are the basic three dimensional ways in which the squint can manifest so as far as treatment options are concerned it can be as simple as a glass wearing prescribing glasses for patients with squint can correct many of those squints in their early stages secondly there are prisms available which can also correct the problem of double vision which can arise out of a squint and also it helps in improving the alignment of the eyes a little other uh, other option which is available is the presence of exercises which helps in maintaining the eye alignment last but not the least is the option of a surgery which are given to certain patients as the last stage for certain conditions of squint so as far as the surgery is concerned age is not the criteria for doing a squint surgery the earlier we do the surgery the more effective the outcomes of surgery are the brain gets more time in the early stages of development to assess and align the eyes in its binocular status so what i mean by binocular status is to look with both eyes simultaneously at one point of time so when one eye is looking straight and the other eye is deviated we lose our 3d image or what we call as depth perception or stereopsis so squint surgery is probably done best at the earlier age group so that the brain gets more time to adapt to the new position of the eyes the earlier we get the surgery done the better the outcomes of the surgery so we at apollo spectra are always available to perform these surgeries as well as to manage these types of squints thank you so much